In this video, we're going to be working with Mosul Class Manager. So here is the teacher iPad. They're signing into their Mosul Class Manager application. When you sign in, in the top left corner, you'll see that you're in Class Manager. If you need to download apps, you can switch to the self-service kiosk and download your apps. But if you're in the self-service kiosk and you need to get to Class Manager, you can switch that as well. So you'll just pick the class that you want to work with. Once you pick your class, you'll actually need to check for absent students. Select the absent students before you start the class. So as you scroll up, you'll see the list of students. Your present students will be unchecked and your absent students will be checked. You can select all or clear all as needed. Then when you're ready, you'll just hit the green button to start the class. Once the class is started, you'll see the students that are active and then you can act on those students. We're going to use a application called Study Apps to hide applications on student devices. If I click on the Study Apps menu, I'm able to add applications. You can add native apps, or you can add apps from our Mosul token. My first app I'm going to add is CK Auth because I want to make sure that student internet activity is being logged while they are working on their iPads. But then I may also want to allow Safari in my student apps. So everything will be hidden but CK Auth and Safari, and maybe I want them to work with Canvas Student in this example. So I'll go back to my token, look for the Canvas Student app, and when I find the Canvas Student app, I will select it, and you'll see that those are the applications that I've selected to, for my study apps. All other apps will be hidden on the student devices. So here you can see the student uh, screen. I'll turn the study apps on with the slider so it's green. It will take a little time. It doesn't happen like immediately. It may be 30 seconds to a minute. And then you'll see the apps are gone. If I flip it back off, then all the apps will come back. And so that's how you can hide apps. You can also use study apps to install apps. So for example, these students do not have Google Sheets. But if I wanted to have Google Sheets put on all the student iPads in my class, I could search for Google Sheets and my Mosul token. I'll find Google Sheets and select it. And now it is part of my study apps. And then you'll notice on the student devices, again, not immediately, but usually within 30 seconds to a minute, the application will start installing on student devices. No ticket, no tech help. As long as there are licenses, you can add applications to your student devices. Then they're able to launch the application and work with the application as needed. When you're done, don't forget to make sure you go back to your Mozilla class manager and in the class, and then you're set to go.